This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. Insects. Representing over 90% of all animal life, there are an estimated 6 to 10 million different species of insects found worldwide. All of them have one thing in common. I love them very much. So I've narrowed that 10 million down to the 5 that I consider the absolute weirdest. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number 1. The Devil's Flower Mantis Native to Western Africa, this is one of the largest mantids out there with females reaching as long as 13 centimeters and males topping out at around 10 centimeters. Like all mantids, Idiabolica are extraordinary predators. They use their cryptic pattern to blend in with flowers and sit motionless until a flying insect comes within strike range. Even cooler than their predatory behavior is their defensive behavior. When threatened, a Devil's Flower Mantis spreads its wings and raises its front legs in a threat pose that's meant to intimidate predators or rival mantids. I've seen these impressive insects for sale at reptile expos and was so tempted to take one home, but unfortunately they have a diet that's almost exclusively flying insects, which can be difficult to maintain in a captive environment. But who am I kidding, I'm still gonna buy one as soon as possible. Number 2. The Scorpion Fly Looking like a genetic experiment from a bad sci-fi movie, this insect is actually completely harmless. That stinger at the end of the tail is actually a pair of claspers that are used during mating. And although they have wings, scorpion flies rarely actually fly preferring to just walk around in the leaf litter searching for their favorite food, dead insects. And as bizarre and alien as these animals seem, they're actually quite common worldwide and are definitely an underappreciated family of insect. Number 3. The Antlion A group consisting of about 2,000 species in the family Mermeliontidae. The antlion gets its name from the incredible predatory behavior of the larva. Remember the sarlacc pit from Return of the Jedi? It's like that, except tiny. The antlion larva digs a funnel-shaped pit in the sand that's about 5 centimeters deep and 7 centimeters wide. When a small insect, such as an ant, walks over the pit, the sand crumbles beneath their feet and they slide down into the waiting jaws of the larva. If there's one thing these little psychos are good at, it's waiting. Many species of antlion can go months without a meal, and some can take several years to finish their life cycle. But luckily, these guys are way too small to be considered dangerous to humans. Unlike number 4 on our list, the Japanese giant hornet. The largest species of hornet on the planet, this monster can reach 4.5 centimeters long with a 6 centimeter wingspan. Worker hornets forage for insects, which they then chew into a paste and feed to their larva. In return, the larva then produce a fluid, which is consumed by the workers. Really glad that humans don't do this with their babies. If provoked, Japanese giant hornets can become very aggressive and inject venom that attacks the nervous system and damages tissue. So maybe don't provoke them. The sting is said to be extremely painful and can require hospitalization depending on the victim's sensitivity to the venom. Finally, here's number 5. The Lord Howe Island Stick Insect Often regarded as the world's most critically endangered insect, this large phasmid was only found on the Lord Howe Island off the coast of Australia. It was believed to have gone extinct in 1920 due to the introduction of rats. But in 2001, a very small population was rediscovered on a nearby island called Ball's Pyramid. Small numbers were taken back to the mainland where they're being bred in captivity with hopes of releasing them back into the wild once the rat population has been eradicated on Lord Howe Island. Although there's still a ways to go, the future looks pretty bright for the Lord Howe Island stick insect, and that gives me a lot of hope for the other not-so-cute and cuddly endangered species. Because what it really comes down to is the impact of a few concerned individuals that recognize the importance of biodiversity in all of its forms. Even a single species of insect that you've never heard of found on a tiny island that you never knew existed. It's not just the cuddly animals that need our help, it's all of them. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Don't forget to like and share the video, and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. Follow me on all my social media crap using the information in this box. Until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.